Yeah, the original guidelines were uh, developed for roadways of 5,000 ADT or lower and uh, were based on um, some research that was done a few years ago. And so we were trying to update that and evaluate them for roadways with higher volumes of traffic. You get stuck behind a slow moving vehicle, this gives you an opportunity to pass safely. You reduce the congestion in the following time. Uh, percent time following is an important measure of uh, performance and this helps reduce that. Uh, you also get a pretty substantial safety benefit. We determined crash reduction uh, rates of about 35% on corridors where we installed the Super 2 projects. Uh, certainly some of the design features of a Super 2 roadway are dependent on uh, driving speed. Those characteristics are, are formula driven based on the speed. So uh, you know, it would change some of the taper rates and where you uh, widen a lane or close a lane down. Uh, but that's already built into the formulas that govern those types of designs. It's a way of uh, gaining traffic operational and uh, safety improvements on a corridor with uh, less investment uh, in terms of construction dollars and right-of-way cost and providing an interim benefit to a roadway that might perhaps uh, eventually be converted to a four-lane divided highway, but uh, you can introduce a Super 2 project that would uh, suffice for uh, the foreseeable future or as a step measure to that with uh, a lot less cost. Current design guidelines date from uh, a couple of years ago and uh, were updated in this research project. There is some upcoming research. We're going to uh, attempt to quantify some of the additional benefits. Uh, certain characteristics we've been able to measure and, and model in computer modeling and uh, we're going to continue some of those efforts uh, in a project that will begin uh, in September.